So welcome back to my community channel, Josh Gordon Gaming, where I play games on the tablet. <sighs> I'm having trouble seeing my intro now. Like it's like like usually when I'm doing my intro, it's like so hard to say, and it's just really hard. I don't get why. Like I tried to do my intro like two times earlier, and I just couldn't do it. So this would be my 100th video, but now it's my 99th because I decided to delete a video because of a reason that I'm not gonna say. And, um, I was looking, I saw, um, a guy on YouTube, I forgot what his name was, but he was doing, like, like, sandbox mode, I, but I think he was doing it on the computer, though, because there's a computer version, so I was looking to see if there was a sandbox mode on here, and I just couldn't find it if there was a sandbox mode, because in sandbox mode, there was, like, you could put what it, you could put your troops down, or not your troops, your towers down, and y you'd have unlimited money. And stuff like that. And you, whatever you sent, you would send to yourself to, like, experiment and stuff. So, I thought that I would be able to play around with that today. But I couldn't find it. So, it looks like we're going to do some battle arenas. So. Wait. I could have done my spin. I want to do my spin first. Let me go back. Okay. I want to do the ceramic crucible or free entry in club. Or even a, or even a, like a banana farmer, but I don't really want any medallions because I'm pretty good where I'm at right now. But come on, free club entry, no. And I ended up getting twenty medallions. Okay, I never get anything good out of the spin. I just never do. Battle arenas. Let's see what they got for these special modes. Let's see. They got Bonanza, and yeah, I'm going Bonanza. I, I just have to. I would play the uh, Super Monkey 2 on my channel, except it costs money. Cause like a couple of weeks ago, I think it popped up, um, and they made it. I played it on the computer. You can play it on the computer for free. By the way, so I I could do this map. I'm gonna bring a banana farm. Ninja, and I'm not sure if I should bring the apprentice. You know what? Yeah, I am. I always, I always bring the apprentice. Ooh, super monkey. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the super monkey. What is, what is that guy waiting for? Is that guy like lost connection or something? Cause it didn't seem like he was doing anything. Okay, so should we start off with the f farm? I think I'm gonna start off with one. No, 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 no. I'm not starting off with the farm. Okay, so that actually is on. Because he just put down a dart monkey. And I'm gonna just. There. That should hold us off for a little bit. And I'm gonna put down our farm now. Right here. And I don't know if you should upgrade the ninja or the farm. I'm gonna just go more bananas. You know what? Yeah, I'm going plantation right there. And then I could get him up to that. That should hold us off for quite a while. And get this little mummy. Mummy? Money. I didn't mean to say mummy. A little bit of money. There we go. <sighs> oh, yeah. I keep on forgetting that this is Bonanza, so I earned double money. Because I'm like, wait, how come I'm getting 120? Because I forgot it was Bonanza. That's the only reason I brought the farm. I only I only bring the farm in a Bonanza. Because I feel like it's easier to bring a farm in a Bonanza. This guy has the dart monkey and a monkey village. Why he has the village? Um, because I think he's going for like camo detection or something. Or actually, I don't even know because the dart monkeys do have camo detection. So... Banana Republic on my side, upgrading that banana farm, and I could get this up to Balloon Jutsu. Okay, so we got one fully upgraded um Ninja Monkey, and I got a, um banana farm up to Banana Republic. And it's like my opponent um has a Ninja Monkey as well. Actually, the 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 village can be actually quite useful because when you put it down, everything just becomes cheaper. So, like, 
that could be really useful. Okay. Let's see. So th he's sending me blacks, black balloons, and I don't get why. Or maybe he's just trying to get eco. I don't know why, but I feel like every time somebody's sending me balloons, they're trying to rush me. But it's not true because y you need to send balloons to get eco. Should I go valuable bananas first? Or should I? No, I, I'm gonna save up for the um banana. What is it called? Research facilities, and then I'll get the um. Come on, I almost have enough. And then I'll get the um valuable bananas. There we go. Our first banana research facilities. This will give us one thousand two hundred dollars per crate, and I already got valuable bananas on it, so it should give us. 800 and then I'm gonna go another bloom jitsu monkey right next to him right next to the first one fully upgrade that right away so now we got the double bloom jitsu monkeys so this guy um has a or my opponent has a monkey village apprentice ninja monkey and dart monkey I expect, like, um, I mean, like, it's, it's better to bring a banana farm in Bonanza than in a regular mode, obviously. And usually when I do fight people, everybody brings a banana farm. This is, like, one of the few times where somebody doesn't bring a banana farm, um, or at least that I've seen when they're playing Bonanza, because usually when I'm battling someone in Bonanza, and they have a banana farm, and so do I. I always bring a banana farm in Bonanza. Oh, I already got two fully upgraded banana farms. That's really cool, because then I'm going to be making a lot of money. Should I put out... No, I'm going to put down an apprentice. One at the beginning over here. And... I'm going to put one at the end over here just for that um double protection so two fully upgraded ninja monkeys two fully upgraded apprentices and two fully upgraded um banana farms so this is gonna go quite well i think i might just put down a super monkey now actually i'm gonna go one more um balloon jitsu and then i think i should put a flash bomber like yeah Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one Flash Bomber on side. Over here. Collect the money. One Flash Bomber on this side. All the way fully upgraded to sabotage supply lines. And another Ninja Monkey. Upgraded to, er, upgraded to Flash Bomb. And sabotage supply lines. Should do us quite good. <sighs> and honestly, I feel like this defense will hold us off for quite a while. And I don't know. I don't know um if um I should put down a super monkey. Yet. Actually, yeah, I am. I should probably try to get a temple. Put that right there. It's gonna eat a lot. So, cause um temples eat up um nearby towers. So I'm gonna put that super monkey right there. And I want to get um him upgraded to a temple. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put an apprentice next to him. And I'm going to put that to summon whirlwind and tempest tornado. Because that does help the temple a lot. But before I even do anything, I have to save up um, $1,000. Or not $1,000, $100,000. $1,000 is really cheap. I need to save up $100,000, not just $1,000. And I already do have another, but um, I still need to buy the other upgrades first. So I'm going to just put one ninja i don't i don't think that makes it so just in case it does i'm gonna just put down put that down right there and i should have enough to get this up to a temple never upgrade the range if you're gonna do a temple first you upgrade it to the temple first and then do range because you do not want it to eat up too much <sighs> there temple do it come on sacrifice yes we are Temple down. 
now upgrade the range. There we go. That's gonna do us really good. I don't even think those, um, what? That guy is nodding no at me. I don't get why. Is he gonna send something? I need to be prepared. Okay, I think I could fit another temple over here. Wait, actually, I could probably fit one over here. Yeah, I could fit another temple right here. You're not gonna be able to see the Sumo Monkey, but that's okay. Actually, I'm not gonna go for another temple yet because I need a lot of money. Because that's. I spent a lot of money right there. So. I'm gonna put another. Come on. I know you can fit. I know a banana farm can fit right here. Come on. Right there. So I'm gonna just put down, fully upgrade it, get us some more money. And can I fit one more? Oh, I can. I saw it. I saw that. Come on. Come on. I know I can fit. Come on. It has to be able to fit. Okay, maybe I'll just try that one later. Actually, no. No, no. I'm going to see if it fits. I, I'm i pretty sure it does fit because I saw. Nah, I don't think it fits. So I'm going to put one up. Can I put, wait, can I put one over here? Okay, so I'm gonna just put it up here. Um, the bananas do fall off the walls, right? Okay, let me see. They do come over here, right? Wow, you can't even see. I feel like that's not a good spot. Okay, wait. I'm gonna sell this. I don't, I feel like that's not a good spot. I'm gonna just put it a little bit lower, like right here i feel like that's a better spot for it i'll fully upgrade and that should do quite good for banana farms the first mob coming in well two mobs actually wait how many mobs come in on so i i don't oh so this guy's um sending us some eco don't mind that because we're obviously going to be able to take it out because we do have a temple and i think we do have enough to get another temple now so i'm gonna put down this super monkey down here um i'm gonna get an apprentice and i don't think i'm gonna be able to fit a um ninja monkey um actually I might, no, 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 not you. i might be able to fit one yes i can yeah, that's just in case it does make it stronger, which I'm not sure about. And this shouldn't eat the other temple, and if it does, then I don't know. So I'm going to just... Temple. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. See? It not eat the other temple. That's that's really good. So now we got two temples right at the beginning to take out any type of balloons that come in. And we got these ninjas over here. Um to help out and the apprentice over here to take out anything coming through i might put down a ninja over there close to the apprentice so and then it can help out actually no i'm not going to do that i have enough for another temple already actually and then yeah i'm, I'm going for another temple here this could be really nice three temples i feel like this the my opponent is going to die soon oh a lot of ceramics coming in. Um, I can't see them on my side because the temples take them out too fast. But I saw them coming in on his side. So wait, I already put down my super monkey. So I'm going to put down my um, apprentice next to him to make him stronger. Come on. Fully upgrade you to Tempest Tornado. And I'm going to put down a ninja just in case if it makes it stronger. I'm not sure. Come on, collect that crate. Oh my gosh, the lag is real. But the lag does get worse later on in the game. If you think this is bad, it gets way worse later. <sighs> Wait, no, 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 don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. I don't want to quit. Come on, temple. Three temples. This is definitely going to take them out. If we can get this guy to surrender, that would be pretty good. Oh, I remember in one episode we got the guy to surrender. I, f I forgot why we got him to, to surrender, but we did. 
Wow, we have, we still have a lot of money. The temples are um eating up a lot of it. Um eating up a lot of my money, but it's okay because we already almost have enough for another temple. And BFB is coming in, but my temple should be able to take them out. That is correct. And my opponent has a lot of ninjutsus on his side. Hmm. Huh. I feel like we should rush him. I don't know. I feel like he's going to rush me at some point. But is this going to take him out? This might actually take him out. Never mind. That, that did not take him out. Oh, he lost a lot of lives, though. I didn't see any balloons go through. I don't know. I didn't see any. Okay, I'm going to go for another temple. Right. Here. I don't think that'll eat up the banana farm or the um, other temple. But it might. So it's okay because I could um, sell it or something. Okay. Let me upgrade you. Here we go. Our fourth temple. Do it. Okay. It did end up eating the banana farm, but that's okay. Because it did not eat up the other temple. We got four temples. Upgrade that range on that Chinese temple. And I could get that banana farm back up and running to earn us some more money. And I feel like... Oh. My opponent is getting in a little bit of trouble here, but he's putting down a lot of wizards to send the balloons back. I don't know. Oh, for some reason I thought the game ended for a second. But I don't know why. But it, it clearly didn't. Lots of BFBs coming in, followed by some mobs on my opponent's side. Can't really see them on mine. Can I fit? No, I can't fit one there. What am I thinking? Okay, put that here. Upgrade you. Back up to Banana Research Facility. And... There we go. Wait, did I get valuable bananas on you? Yeah, I did, I did. Oh wow, I just noticed that when you click on the, um, banana farms, it tells you the pops, which is zero, because they don't... Damage balloons, they just give you money. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, I feel my my opponent might go down here. Um, I don't really have to pay attention to my side that much anymore because I have like four balls down, so I don't know. I feel like my opponent might go down right here. Because there's still one BFB up and a lot of mobs coming in. Okay, he's going to be able to take this out. Three mobs. Oh, oh my god. Never mind. That's a lot of BFBs. You can even see them on my side too. But my temple should take them out, so I'm not too worried. I should probably be collecting my money. A lot of it probably despawned already because I wasn't paying attention. And I have enough for another temple, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get one. I probably should, just in case. Which I don't think I need to because I have a lot of temples down on my side already. Four to be exact. And usually, I don't, I don't think I've ever got this many temples. I might have. Have I got temples in a video before? I don't remember. I might have. Okay, so there's a lot of mobs or moabs or however you want to say it. Um, and BFBs coming in on his side. This, this is gonna take him out for sure. Usually, I lose in my BTD videos. Um, like I go. I go like like close to here, like round 40 or so, but I usually lose because my opponent either rushes me or I just don't have a good enough defense to take out the balloon sent by the CPU. And I don't know why, but I usually lose in my BTD videos, but I don't care because I have lots and oh my gosh. <sighs> so this is like, um, yeah, that's the video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I actually won that one. But usually I lose, as I said. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and Thanksgiving is coming up. I'm, I don't know what I should do on, like, Wednesday or tomorrow um, for Thanksgiving. 
because Thanksgiving is on Thursday, and Friday is Black Friday, where usually everything's like on sale at stores, so, um, yeah, peace out.